okay so uh, in this uh, lecture we shall be studying uh, uh, a bit of uh, you know the intricate details you can say of uh, the block and the tackle system now this block and tackle system for physics students uh, you may already be aware that this block and tackle system is with regards to uh, pulleys okay so whenever we discuss machines we have pulleys as uh, one category of machines so in pulleys we have a particular combination of pulleys uh, along with the tackle so tackle is the rope here or the thread you can say uh, and the block refers to uh, you know a combination of number of pulleys okay so let us first understand uh, what uh, exactly is the figure that uh, we have to draw when we discuss uh, block and tackle system of pulleys so what are the different blocks and what are the uh, what is meant by tackle so let's say for example that this is a rigid support okay so uh, that's the rigid support that we have and from here we have a metallic rod you can say which will act as a hinge okay so let's say for example we have uh, one pulley over here okay so like this is one pulley okay and it is fixed at this particular point which is the hinge okay and then in the next uh, one you can say that uh, let's say for example this is another pulley okay now what you should notice first of all is that when i have drawn this particular block okay now this is one block okay and there will be a hook over here okay so this is a hook over here this entire system forms a block okay so this is this block that we are talking about okay now this block obviously is the fixed block okay this block cannot move because it is pivoted over here it is fixed uh, you know and pivoted here also this entire thing is a metallic portion solid portion so that cannot move up and down okay so that is one part that you have a look at carefully then how many pulleys are there in this block obviously there are two pulleys but what is more important for you to notice is the size of these two pulleys okay it is absolutely necessary for you to understand here that the pulley which is just below the topmost pulley or let's say the subsequent pulley as we go down let's say for example if we if we are going down in this direction the first pulley was this pulley okay and what type of pulley was this this was a fixed pulley okay so let me call that as f1 okay so this is a fixed pulley why because this, it cannot move up and down its axis of rotation is fixed okay similarly over here i can say that this is f2 which is the second fixed pulley this pulley also cannot go up and down okay now the sizes have to be different why because let's say for example if there is a tackle now tackle uh, when i say tackle tackle refers to the rope okay okay so when the rope will go down around this pulley let's say for example if it is going down like this okay and from this side it is going down like this okay you can imagine you can visualize uh, in your minds that if this pulley also would have been of the same size as this pulley then what would have happened is that this outside rim of this second pulley would actually have come over here till this point and then this thread or the rope would actually have you know uh, glided along the surface of the rim of this second pulley which would have given uh, rise to uh, you know uh, friction okay more friction and in fact this would continuously collide with this particular rim and therefore it would uh, you know uh, render this block and tackle system a little less useful than it normally is okay so first rule that you should always keep in mind is while drawing a block and tackle system is uh, you obviously can be asked to draw the block and tackle system having uh, so many uh, pulleys in the top block so many pulleys in the uh, bottom block so on and so forth okay so you must be careful that when you come down from the top area then the size of the pulley should keep reducing okay so imagine that if there was a third pulley also in this same uh, block 
so then that third pulley would have been even smaller in size than this second pulley okay so that is how the idea goes now let us come back to uh, the understanding of uh, the block so this is one block okay similarly we will have another block okay so now this block which is going to be the bottom block has to start with the hook first okay we will get to know that the reason why the hook has to be at the top here is in a short while from now so obviously this will have the load at the bottom something that has to be lifted up okay so this this is the load and uh, this is the downward block so now you see when we were coming down in the upward block or the upper block the size of the pulley was decreasing okay you can see that the size of the pulley was decreasing whereas when we will go down in the bottom block what should be the logic what does your mind tell you that should it go from a higher size to a lower size should it continue to decrease or should it increase in this fashion so let's see we will have a pulley over here like this and here the next pulley would be larger in size okay you can use a compass to draw uh, this particular uh, pulley okay so you can see that as we are coming down in the upper block this is the upper block the size of the pulley is reducing whereas in the lower block as we are going down the size is increasing okay so let me just write this as i and c increasing of the size of the pulley now why is that important is because let's say for example if you want to pull this load up obviously these are two blocks that you have block number one block number two or upper block lower block two pulleys here also two pulleys here also this block is a fixed block whereas this block is a movable block why because it can move up and down okay then comes the tackle which is the rope so you have to have a single rope now if somebody wants to pull let's say for example that there is a person who wants to pull this rope in the downward direction okay so the rope has to go around this pulley now you see the reason why i was telling you that the sizes of these pulleys have, have to be smaller is because had they been larger in size or of equal size as this then this this rope which is coming down would actually you know rub against the surface okay causing friction so let it come down like this so this this can be taken down with the help of a scale or a ruler if you have and now you see the significance of this pulley to be of the same size as the top word uh, uh, the utmost pulley okay so this pulley right at the top and this pulley right at the bottom they have to be of the same sizes okay if this pulley is of a larger size then the rope would have to go like this which would not uh, make much sense okay so it comes straight down and then it has to obviously go around this pulley and go up okay so it goes up and then obviously goes around this comes down so the only pulley which is left over here is this pulley okay and it gets joined to this hook okay now again one more thing that you have to be very careful about is that you have to see that you know all the pulleys the rope has to go around all the pulleys at least once okay and at the most once also okay so it goes around here then comes down uses the bottom most pulley then it goes up again so once it goes in the upper block then it comes down to the lower block then again it goes to the upper block then again it comes down to the lower block and eventually now we are uh, you know we have utilized all the pulleys so it goes round and gets fixed to the upper hook now this cannot go and get fixed to the lower hook because it is coming around from the pulley of the lower block so it has to end at the hook of the upper block okay so that is how it is done now what i wanted to tell you about here is that uh, let's say for example if we mark all the tensions in the upward direction t t then you have a tension here then you have a tension here and obviously you have a t over here okay 
so in all the different strands of the tackle so the tackle is only one tackle means rope so this is that rope and you can see that it is only a single rope okay it is starting here and ending over here but there is a term which is known as strands of tackle okay so strands means parts of the rope okay so first part second part third part fourth part and the fifth part okay so uh, based on how it has gone around the pulleys there are different strands so how many total strands are there five now coming to the understanding of uh, the word uh, mechanical advantage okay so let's say we have mechanical advantage of uh, this particular block and tackle system the formula is load upon effort now load is this load okay so it is pointing down load has to be expressed in terms of number of parts of the tackle which are supporting the load so you can see one two three and four these four different strands of tackle are actually supporting the load so i will write these as 4t why because t plus t plus t plus t gives you 4t at the top okay now at the bottom we have effort you can see that this is the person providing effort so this effort has to be equal to a single t okay so i will put single t over here t and t will get cancelled therefore my mechanical advantage value will come out to be 4 what that essentially means here is that let's say if i uh, you know if i put this value equal to 4 because my ma value has come out to be 4 so l upon e which is load upon effort is equal to 4 so e can come over here or l can you know come down over here so it's basically a criss cross uh, multiplication according to your convenience so let's say for example we have uh, e equal to l upon 4 okay you can see that we have e comes over here and 4 comes down here so you can have e is equal to l by 4 what that means is that if let's say for example i am uh, i am having a load of 100 newtons to be lifted up okay i am having a load of 100 newtons to be lifted up so how much of an effort would be needed so 100 upon 4 so that makes my effort to be only 25 newtons you can see this this and this my load to be lifted is 100 newtons whereas my effort that is being used using this block and tackle system is only one fourth of that 25 newtons okay so what does this block and tackle system actually do this block and tackle system provides us an advantage in terms of reducing our effort to do a particular work or to lift a particular load now this is not the reason why i uh, decided to prepare this uh, video lecture the reason was something different now the main point that i want to explain over here is that you know in this block and tackle system you have two blocks having two pulleys each in each okay so there is a total of four pulleys okay and your mechanical advantage also has come out to be four now look at the direction in which the tension is uh, look at the direction in which the effort is being applied effort is being applied in the downward direction okay so when you have the effort in the downward direction your mechanical advantage value becomes four and that is the maximum possible mechanical advantage using this particular block and tackle system of four pulleys certainly if you want to increase the mechanical advantage you can have uh, you know an upper block having three pulleys and a downward block having two pulleys okay so you increase the number of pulleys and your mechanical advantage will increase okay but here the main point is that what if somebody wants to increase the mechanical advantage of the system from four to five let's say without increasing the number of pulleys okay so just give it a thought for a moment while i uh, uh, you know erase uh, this particular portion and uh, make some small changes to the diagram so the question still remains that i want to increase my mechanical advantage from four to five but i do not want to increase the number of pulleys so how can i do that without increasing the number of pulleys so one way is to change the way in which the tackle is running around these pulleys okay so please note that using this four pulley system 
you can call this as a four pulley system you can call this as a uh, you know a block and tackle system having two blocks of two pulleys each whichever way you want to put it across main thing is that the mechanical advantage value is coming out to be four using these four pulleys i want to increase the mechanical advantage to five so that the effort applied becomes even lesser than that okay in the first case so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to change not the number of pulleys remember that number of pulleys has to remain same so the tackle arrangement has to change okay so i'm just going to erase uh, the tackle portion just to show you how to make those changes so that you can get an ma value also of five without doing any uh, you know change to the number of pulleys so let's say for example we come back to the situation where we had the upper block having two pulleys lower block again having two pulleys now if you remember in the previous case we had the effort pointing in the downward direction so the person was pulling like this downwards okay now if i want to increase my ma to let's say five okay so what i'll have to do is i'll have to change the direction of the effort application so this time the effort application has to be in the upward direction so let's say for example we have the effort being applied in the upward direction so this time the person is pulling in the upward direction so obviously we have to start from the downward pulley this time so it goes around remember the rule once it goes around a pulley of the lower block then it has to go up to the upper block pulley okay so it goes up like this around the topmost pulley of the upper block because it is of the same size as the the lower block pulley and then it comes down now you see it has gone round one of the pulleys of the upper block so where should it go now it should go down to the one of the pulleys of the lower block and in the lower block there is only one pulley remaining so let it come down like this goes around now again it will go up so let it go up round this and then can it go into this hook no because now this time it is coming from the pulley of the upper block so it has to end at the hook of the lower block okay so that is the rule so now what changes have i made did i change the number of pulleys no so what change did i make did i uh, did i increase the number of tackles the ropes no rope is still the same you see it's only a single rope the only arrangement that has differed here is that the effort now is in the upward direction because of which now when you mark the tensions once again t t then this t then this t in all parts of the tackle we have to mark the tension now you see mechanical advantage formula is l upon e okay this time the load this load is not being supported by four strands it is being supported by five strands let us count 1 2 3 4 5 earlier it was only four because this effort portion of the tackle did not lie over here it lay right at the top at the effort end over here because the person was pulling in the downward direction but this time it is you can see that it is actually supporting the pulley which is supporting the load directly okay so the load is actually hanging on this particular effort arm also so that is why this is an extra arm that gets counted so t plus t plus t plus t plus t makes it 5t this time and obviously the effort in the denominator effort is only single t so t and t gets cancelled you get a mechanical advantage value of 5 so what have we done actually if we use that same example of lifting a load of 100 newtons this time how much effort will i need this time i'll need only 20 newtons of effort which is even lesser than what we had earlier why because my mechanical advantage this time has increased earlier it was 4 now it is 5 why has it how is it increased to 5 not by increasing the number of pulleys although you can do that also but the question here restricted us limited us to not going beyond 4 pulleys so we have continued 
to uh, we have uh, we were basically continued with four pulleys but we have changed the arrangement of the tackle this time the effort is in the upward direction which gives us the increased value of ma okay so these are some of the things that you have to uh, you know keep in mind while uh, solving questions uh, labeling drawing diagrams regards to block and tackle system